With Google Bard entering the battle of AI chatbots, we have another candidate to benchmark. So let's compare Bard with Chasonic, Perplexity, and ChatGPT. All of these three AI chatbots have weaknesses and strength, but you have to evaluate yourself which one fits your needs. We have a total of three prompts we are going to test with all four AI chatbots. One relates to soccer, the other two to professional work life. The one about soccer is very similar as in our previous video. Who won the FIFA World Cup last year in Qatar? Google Bard is quick, but short. The user does not see writing progress, and once finished the answer pops up. It is nice that you can continue with a Google search. Chatsonic takes a lot of time to search when we tested it. Honestly this is quite frustrating when you need quick results for a search. However, once you have a result, you are rewarded with several sources, which definitely increases the search quality. But overall the result is very good. Perplexity is very fast, gives you good user feedback, shows the writing progress, and rewards us even with pictures as well as sources below. ChatGPT requires an extra prompt to search the internet. Otherwise the answer is completely useless. But when you tell ChatGPT to browse the internet, and you have this feature enabled in GPT-4, you get good results. The progress is nicely visualized, sources are shown and even a picture appears. But the time it took to do the search is very slow compared to perplexity. All four chatbots came to a conclusion. ChatGPT, however, needs help, otherwise the result will exclude internet research. This is quite annoying. Bard was right and fast and Chatsonic takes a bit longer, but shows sources. Perplexity is the winner for this prompt. It has the best results with accurate text and many more pictures. Let's check a prompt related to work in human resources. Write me a warning email from HR to an employee who misbehaved when he was drunk on a workshop during daytime. Bard was fast again. It only took 4 seconds, but the content is rather low in terms of creativity and quality. Such result definitely needs more human input to use it for a real working context. It is nice that Bard adds additional recommendations for the given situation. Chatsonic was faster this time and the answer to the prompt is comprehensive. This work could definitely be used in a real-world context and only minor adjustments would be needed. The overall structure of the text is well thought and the message comes across clearly. Perplexity is fast, but lacks a bit creativity. It would definitely work in a real-world scenario where the text should be rather short and precise. ChatGPT clearly masters this task. Not only does it create a formally perfect email, but also follows a good structure for such a piece of text. What is interesting is the amount of creativity ChatGPT adds to the work. For example, the chapter 7.3.1 of the company's code of conduct policy has not been part of the prompt. But quite honestly, the outcome is fairly lengthy. Overall, this is a really usable outcome written in professional and educated manner. In conclusion, Bard is almost unusable and needs more human input. Perplexity delivers short but good results. ChatGPT is very creative and creates a lot of text. Chatsonic is therefore the winner for this prompt. The results are perfectly usable and the length is on point. Now let's continue and shift towards a sales role in a professional context. Write a strong sales email to restaurant owners about a new gin that has potential to be especially liked by female guests. Bard is clearly overwhelmed with this task. The amount of creativity is very low and the sales email is far away from strong and convincing. Despite all recommendations below the results, this outcome is sadly not usable at all. Chatsonic took almost one minute to think for an answer and then failed to provide an output. We had to restart it in order to get an answer, which also took a lot of time. But the outcome was good and the email really sounds convincing. Chatsonic used a number of style elements to highlight unique selling points of our product. It also included references below for us to double-check the outcome. Perplexity shows a short answer. Some selling points are nicely visualized. 
there is creativity regarding the woman-owned and operated business. However, overall it lacks in being a strong and convincing sales email. ChatGPT clearly masters this task. It starts with a great subject on the top of the email. Also, the amount of creativity is incredible. This includes the naming of our product and even the manufacturer. All unique selling features are nicely highlighted in bullet points and even a pricing discount for the first month is offered. The structure is very well made and this makes it by far the best outcome in terms of strong and convincing sales email. Obviously this outcome would be even better if you would give more details as part of the prompt. ChatGPT clearly wins this prompt in terms of creativity and convincingness. ChatSonic also shows a great outcome. Perplexity is rather on the short site and Google Bard is unusable for such a prompt. Overall, Google Bard cannot compete with Perplexity, ChatSonic, and ChatGPT at the moment. ChatGPT and ChatSonic remain the best choices for high-quality writing where creativity is needed. Perplexity is clearly the winner when it comes to web-based research with sources and pictures. And if you want to learn how to use Perplexity, you can check out this video.